My, my name is Linus Bengtsson. I'm, I'm a medical doctor and the executive director of the Flowminder Foundation. Uh, we're a non-profit. We're, um, we're based in, in, in Stockholm, uh, a lot of people in Southampton and in uh, Geneva as well. We do data analysis, new types of uh, data analysis using new data sources but also traditional data sources to understand the, the characteristics and the distribution of vulnerable populations. I mean, normally you have enormous amounts of, of mobility. People move for all sorts of reasons every day and uh, after large disasters this is usually accentuated uh, a lot and um, this has never been possible to, to get at groups with. It's, uh, there's no method that can follow how people move on a national scale. Of course you can see how people pass on a road but it's extremely difficult to to uh, summarize and, and collect that information, especially in a crisis situation. Um, so the, um, what we did in Nepal, built, built on what we pioneered in Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake there, and it's, uh, it's to use operate, mobile operated data to understand how people move normally and to follow then how people move after the earthquake and the difference between these, uh, these patterns. Um, so we, we use the data to determine approximately where people have their, their homes and we can then follow how many people leave their homes and how that differs between areas. Uh, subsequently we can also see how people are moving back uh, to, to their original areas and what areas uh, do, not, uh, do not see returns to the same degree which is uh, probably a sign that the area is not recovering. Um, hi, I'm Bessie Schwartz. I am the co-founder of Cloud to Street and a research affiliate at the Datapop Alliance. Along with my co-founder, Beth Tellman and I, uh, we harness the new power of big data from satellites circling the Earth and social media with the critical ingenuity insight of local communities in order to create new ways of understanding flood vulnerability from the cloud to the street. So we work in the places that are most vulnerable to flooding in terms of number of people and number of critical assets exposed. But then it also, in combination with that, places where um, governments have a difficulty either for lack of resources or for organizational structure and frankly corruption, actually getting the information and deploying it correctly to protect people. So we're working in India, again in the Himalayan region, in Senegal, uh, we'll be expanding to Mexico, and then um, in the next five years, um, a couple of places like um, Pakistan and Cambodia that are very vulnerable. If you want the perfect analysis, the perfect monitoring of how vulnerable populations move, how displaced, where displaced populations are, there are, there are considerable, uns considerable uncertainties. There are a number of biases in, in, in the data. Um, when it comes to following population displacement, the, the data that is, the estimates that are available, uh, the other types of estimates that are, are available are extremely, um, or extremely bad quality. Um, there is really no other way of doing it. So, um, so the, the basic scenario is that with the operator data you can, you can improve on what there is while being aware that there are still, still considerable uncertainties. We're working a lot on, on developing this method to, to profile users, so we, we want to be able to understand better if it's rich people or poor people who move, women versus men, uh, etc. That's a misconception often that you can just sprinkle some big data on top of a problem and, and, and you will solve it. Uh, and that's not really the case. This gives, this gives us new tools to work with, but fundamentally it's the same basic questions we're, we're asking. So who is poor, who is rich, um, how many people are, are born, how many people are dying, how many people need help, um, can very traditional. But through a combination of that local knowledge, knowing where exactly the last flood went uh, around their house with what we can detect from satellites circling the earth, I think is the best way to understand what's really going on and predict what's going on in the future and, and, and how to prepare for it.